And then lads all down this way again. They may have their hands on it now, but Bradford City are still at least 90 minutes away from calling the Capital One Cup their own. The League Two outfit have defied footballing logic to battle to the Wembley final, seeing off Premier League outfits such as Wigan, Arsenal and Aston Villa along the way. Now they must get past Michael Laudrup Swansea to rewrite the history books, and the players know the size of the task ahead. Yeah, you know, they've had a new manager and, you know, they've added to their squad as well. You know, they've, they've brought a, a top-class uh, striker in Mitu and he's done well in the Premier League, as you can tell. But, you know, like we say, we've just got to concentrate on ourselves and, you know, and, and it's about what we do more than what Swansea do. Manager Phil Parkinson has masterminded his side's run to the final. But despite being one match away from European football, he wants to be able to soak up the atmosphere on the big day. Obviously to... Uh plan out the training so we go into the game organised, um, as fit and as fresh as possible um, but to enjoy it as well I think that's important because um, for a club of our stature to, to be in a major cup final is a unique experience we've got to make sure all the lads and you know, all the staff and all our families and all our supporters enjoy the, the occasion and we'll certainly do that. James Hansen's goal in the semi-final secured Bradford's date with destiny. The striker will be hoping to repeat the trick on the biggest stage of all. Oh, but I, you know, I take you take a winning goal. Yeah, I'd be delighted with that. But um, you know, just to hopefully play a part in it would be amazing because you know that's going to be a memory. I'll you know be with me for a long time. <laughs> it's been 102 years since the club won a major trophy, but no one is betting against the Bantams, springing one final surprise at Wembley. <laughs>